Down in the iMovie timeline is where we add clips to build a movie. To scrub through the timeline, just tap and drag on it. Tap the play button here to be in viewing from the playhead, which is always located in the center of the timeline. Jump to the start of the current clip with this button. To quickly go to the start or end of all the clips in the timeline, tap and hold on the very edge of the display on either side of the timeline. Use a two finger pinch or spread to zoom out or in on the timeline, which will adjust the perceived size of the clips, but not their actual length. Tap on a clip transition or title to select it in the timeline. With this video clip selected, we get five editing buttons that appear below. Actions, speed, volume, titles, and filters. We'll go over most of these in their own lessons. For now, I just want to focus on the clip handles, which are the thick yellow bars we see whenever a clip is selected. Tap and drag on these to trim or extend either end of the clip. Remember that I brought these clips into the timeline as favorited areas of longer versions of those clips. So for many of these, I'm able to extend the clip length a little because there's more footage here that I hadn't marked as a favorite. This clip, on the other hand, was marked entirely as a favorite, so I can't extend either end because the entire video clip is already in the timeline. Notice that as we trim or extend a clip with the handles, the length of the clip is displayed up in the viewer. Now let's split a clip. This is just going to cut the currently selected clip in two from wherever the playhead is located. So if I center the playhead best I can in this clip, then tap the split button, we now have two clips to work with that can be trimmed on their own, or move to a different point in the timeline, or have a filter applied. Use the undo button here to go back to the full unsplit clip. With a clip selected, tap Detach Audio, and the sound in the clip is now a separate clip that can be moved, edited, or even split. Select the clip and tap Duplicate, and we now have two independent copies of this clip in the timeline. Finally, we can remove a clip from the timeline by selecting it and tapping the trash icon here on the iPad, or use the delete button on the iPhone. This is just going to remove the clip from the timeline. The clip is not deleted from the media browser. 